Today we'll discuss one of the uh, widely used problem solving method known as divide and conquer. So this is one of the most popular problem solving method ever used. This divide and conquer method, if the problem is very complex and uh, if there is a possibility that the original problem can be subdivided in small problems known as sub problems, then these sub problems can be executed, solved independently and then the final solution can be combined all together. But very important constraint in this criteria is that all these sub problems should be independent. They should not have a dependency in case output of one problem should be used as an input to another problem. So if this kind of constraint is very well managed, then all these sub problems can be independently solved. This problem solving method is known as divide and conquer. It is divide, it divides the problem into sub problems. Sub problems are solved independently. Then the solutions are combined to find the final solution. We know there are many problems which are solved using divide and conquer method. We have already used or already studied some of the algorithm. The examples are merge sort, binary search, quick sort and many more. Merge sort, we already know that this divides the sub problem, main problem into sub problem. Let us assume as it is shown in the presentation, so merge sort will sort this problem with the size n. Then this n size problem is further divided into two sub problems which is of size n by 2. At every stage it will divide the problem into sub problems and then it try to find the solution of these sub problems to be combined to find a final solution. That is why the recurrence equation of this particular merge sort can be written as t is equal to theta of 1 if the problem size is 1 almost constant but if the problem size is more than 1 then the recurrence equation can be written as 2t in the bracket n by 2 plus theta of n if the problem size is large so this is about merge sort then we know there is a binary search method. So in the binary search method, if the problem size is n, then after finding out the mid of a search set, we will compare the key element to the mid or mid of this particular search set, which is of size n. If we find that the key is larger than the mid size mid element then will neglect first part and will go with the remaining so here we divide this particular set into n by 2 size and the upper part is remaining for further search whereas we have this particular method applicable to the subset also so this particular subset the higher subset is again divided in two parts for finding out a mid and this mid is compared to the search element known as key. If we find that the search element is smaller than mid then we will neglect the upper part and will go with the lower part which is of n by 4 size of the original problem size. So this is how each time the sub problem size is reduced to n by 2 of original problem. This is a binary search. Then we also know quick sort is one of the famous example of divide and conquer method. So in this divide and conquer method, what we do, we partition the original array into two parts with the pivot element. Pivot is a mid of these two sub problems and we'll try to find these sub problems into further with by using a pivot element then further these sub problems are again divided in again another sub problems and it continues until we find the solution of them 
so this is a quick sort so all these are the methods with which we can solve the problem using divide and conquer method so let's understand there is a one more very famous algorithm that we have used known as matrix multiplication so in the matrix multiplication what we do we multiply the first matrix with another matrix so this is a small code written here which allows us to understand how the matrix multiplication is executed we have a matrix known as first and the second matrix is second each indices are defined in the array two dimensional array the index of first and second matrix are multiplied and added the result to find the third matrix this is a third matrix so the indices of that will show the final result this is already we have understood and executed in our previous classes so we have used three four loops and the respective indices will allow us to find or define the time complexity of this matrix multiplication as a n cube o of n cube then we know that the matrix multiplication time complexity is n cube but the idea is to reduce the time complexity of matrix multiplication can we do it can we find a better solution for executing the matrix multiplication in an optimum amount of time with existing solution we know the time complexity is o of n cube the expected time complexity is o of n square minimum can we reduce it to one power at least so what can we do here we have a matrix a and matrix b a b c d are the elements of a matrix a e f g h are the elements of matrix b then finally we have a resultant matrix known as c in which a e plus b g as a first element then a f plus b h second element then c e plus d g third element and c f plus d h the fourth element this is what the resultant matrix is how can we get this matrix we have r s t u as a resultant matrix r is a e plus b g s is a f plus b h t is c e plus d g and u is c f plus d h so if we look at this particular elements of a resultant matrix we can very easily understand that a e b g represents the multiplication of the elements so this multiplication can be executed in a recursive format so how many recursions we can achieve 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so eight recursive multiplications can be done it can be very easily achieved which is of size n by 2 multiplied by n by 2 and that is what the recursive multiplication can be implemented so once we get the recursive multiplication we have to add the results of these recursive multiplications a e plus so plus 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 four times we have to add them all together and this addition to the sub problems will be executed if we want to execute Uh, if we want to write a recurrence equation for this multiplication we can do it like t of n is equal to 8t in the bracket n by 2 plus theta of n square whereas this 8 means the sub problems the recursive multiplicative sub problems a e 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 we have eight sub problems that is why 8 is written n by 2 is the size of each sub problem is def defined plus theta of n square this theta of n square is nothing but uh, time required for addition of these sub respective multiplicative recur recursive multiplication so if we solve this recurrence equation we'll get n cube so n cube is far better than n square fx sorry fn that is why we will declare time complexity of matrix multiplication as a o of n cube so here we have defined the time complex of matrix multiplication but we have not 
we haven't able to reduce the time complexity with this particular method also in the previous multi previous method what we have done we have multiplied the matrix so we used three four loops and these three four loops has generated n cube o of n cube time complexity in this second method what we have done we have defined it in a three recursive eight recursive multiplications and then addition then also we could not reduce the time complexity does any other method exist with which we will be able to reduce the time complexity of matrix multiplication so this is what a stressen has done stressen stressen is one of the uh, well known scientist what he has done he has provided uh, a new or a innovative multiplication matrix multiplication method so this is a b c d is first matrix e f g s is second matrix and this is a third resultant matrix so in the resultant matrix we can see p5 plus p4 plus p2 plus p6 this is first element then in the second element p1 plus p2 third element is p3 plus p4 and the last element is p1 plus p5 plus p minus p3 minus p2 so these are the the elements that we can achieve as a resultant matrix so from where do we get this p1 p2 here the reference is written p1 is equal to a in the bracket f minus h p2 is a plus b multiplied by h c is in the bracket c plus d multiplied by e p4 is d in the bracket g minus e p5 is a plus d in the first bracket and in the second bracket e plus h p6 is in the first bracket b minus d second bracket holds g plus h p7 is in the bracket first bracket a minus c second bracket e plus f if we execute this p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p7 p6 p7 then we achieve the resultant matrix means the multiplication of two matrices result so here if we look at this p1 p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 p7 these are the sub problems these are the sub problems so now the problem size is reduced to 7 in the previous uh, matrix multiplication example we were having eight recursive multiplication sub problems here we have seven pro sub problems now the eight sub problems are reduced to seven so if we have done this then we will get a time complex recurrence equation of this is like seven pro sub problems each with the size n by 2 plus o of n square the extra time required for execution of the other entities so if we execute this recurrence equation with the standard master method then we'll get o n 2.2 n to the power 2.807 this is almost very negligible so we can say that o of n square is a reduced time complexity than the previous results so n square is far better than n cube so that is why we can say that this is one of the with this particular method we can reduce the time complexity required for time matrix multiplication thank you